Hello Thunderfoot, the practitioner here. I really like the aspect that you were saying about we've got to get rid of the empty science aspect of Islam. I'm pretty sure you'll also agree with me that we need to get rid of the anti-science aspect in our own culture, which in the US, as you're probably aware, is also a majority of people, especially when it comes to issues like evolution, and is sizable minorities over issues like secondhand smoke and global warming. Uh, basically anything which uh, threatens their ideology of, you know, big business can do no wrong or, you know, that automatically, uh, you know, any science which looks like um, government infringing on people, uh, they, try to, uh, um, they try to reject off the bat. Well, I've actually got a solution for all parties involved. And uh, this involves, however, completely reformatting the, uh, de the way we view democracy. Specifically, I don't believe we should have democracy based on ideology, but democracy based on voting people in who are the most competent to do the job. Specifically, I am recommending that for we have constitutional changes across the world, first the Western world and then by example to the rest of the world, making scientific professional associations like the National Academy of Sciences in the United States or the National Research Council in Canada a full house of government. Along with this, I'm also reckoning the, recommending the other following legal changes. All laws must pass peer review before they, are, before they are ratified. All laws must also pass a period of experimentation before they are officially made into law for whatever legislative body you're talking about. Um, after peer review, all scientific studies must list their financiers for, uh, uh, as a uh, data table in the, uh, in the paper when it actually goes to get published. Um, but all, adult, all people must pass an objective test for adulthood, specifically uh, the ability to perform a basic mathematical function and certain emotional maturity tests as defer, determined by psychologists, psychiatrists, and neuroscientists. And finally, that all people running for government, no matter in what house, must pass a basic mathematical test, such as uh, passing the quadratic equation, to demonstrate the mathematical capability before running for government. The primary reasons I'm suggesting this as follows. Number one, we, count the, we cut the number of laws that go through, uh, and the experimental system will make sure that, uh, especially if it's uh, registered on criteria like, is it infringing on civil liberties too much? Uh, you know, is it infringing on civil liberties? Uh, is it actually addressing the problem that the, that the nation is facing? I can, can we see a statistical drop in the, in the negative aspect? Is it costing the government too much? Is there a more efficient means of covering this issue? You know, um, <clears throat> this will require laws to become much more detailed, and um, uh, this will require laws to become much more detailed and much more rigorous in their checking before they go through. Uh, the primary reason I propo uh, I'm proposing the legal modification or constitutional change that all, scienti uh, all scientific publications must have their uh, lists of financiers is to spot conflicts of interest um, and potential uh, is to spot conflicts of interest and potential um, potential flaws in the data much earlier on, especially if the uh, science itself is good, something on an issue towards the public health. Uh, primary reason of this is that the uh, journal Lancet uh, earlier this year finally repealed the study linking vaccines to autism because it turned out the doctor in question who had done the study had been paid by the lawyers to do so and had deliberately falsified the data. Hence why if this particular uh, law had been in place earlier, that particular conflict of interest would have been caught ten times earlier. Uh, I mean, the, 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 sub, the, su the study was already disputed anyway due to faulty methodology, but nonetheless, it would have been a lot easier if, um, you know, if that conflict of interest had been noted. It would have been much more, uh, it, would be, it would have been much more heavily scrutinized and repealed, uh, you know, years earlier, and we wouldn't have had this decade worth of debate over this fucking issue. Um, but anyway, uh, you know, but anyway, uh, along with that, you know, uh, other things along those lines. I'm also proposing uh, the objective age of adulthood, so this way we can remove the Yahoo factor, i.e., creationism, etc., from influencing government, uh, as well as the uh, as well as certain aspects of the libertarian pol uh, policy, etc., uh, much earlier on. Um, you know, I figured that if Western values are supposed to promote rationality, um, and especially considering that it seems that uh, you know it seems like the uh, as well um, as well as the fact that just because the majority of belie people believe something does not automatically mean that it's right, as you're well aware of Thunderfoot, the ad populum fallacy, that by bringing in a rational system for, uh, you know, by bringing in a constitutional change for rational system, regardless of, uh, of whoever gets into power, this will knock out the, uh, oh, yes, one other thing, passing a law preventing lobbying from any contingent. 
What this means then is that this will, uh, you know, just simply if you have an idea, submit it through a peer review process. Thus meaning that all ideas get processed rationally, no lobbying from any group uh, based on ideology, and we can kick out, uh, like I said, and then we can uh, we can process in a truly rational form. And then, of course, in the West, and then, of course, for really trying to promote uh, democratic development in the Middle East, we can then continue the expansions of the war uh, of the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. That is assuming that they're actually objectively sound, and uh, promote, uh, uh, you know, um, or uh, or via another mechanism, and promote um, this uh, this sort of constitutional change in the in the Arab world as well. Meaning that uh, more so, that for enough scientists to get into government, there will have to be scientific uh, uh, research institutions developed in the process. So therefore, this ups the scientific publication right off the bat, even if uh, even if only from the government itself. Anyway, take uh, that's my opinion. Take it for what you will. Here's hoping I'm not genocidal by coming up with this idea, and um, I should mention I'm actually seriously proposing this for the Western world in other forms. And um, let me put it this way politely. Um, if this particular uh, idea is not accepted, um, and if it uh, turns out empirically, i.e., if it, uh, if a, um, i.e., when I submit a paper on this, if it turns out that this uh, this idea um, objectively uh, passes peer review and turns out to be the ideal form of government, um, and not only the ideal form of government but a necessary form to deal with issues like climate change and real issues which are facing the public health. Um, uh, then, if nothing else, I promote a bloodless revolution to take over government um, and instill this very co uh, this very set of uh, constitutional ideals. But anyway, that's my opinion. Take it for what you will. Post in the comments below. See ya.